right, so here I'm just um, sketching out pretty much freehand in the, the, the traditional style classical palette that you all are familiar with, the oval with the whole designed to, uh, for righties. I'm right-handed, so... But I guess you could flip it on the other side, and if you're left, you could do it. So I took it to one of my friends who's a carpenter. I mean, I could have did it myself, but he has all the tools, so why not just take it to him, get it done faster? It's pretty much just going along the lines of what I sketched with the sawzall here, as you can see. Pretty nice and simple. Here it is all cut out. Now he has to cut out the hole, and of course he has the perfect tool for it. Nice and efficient and uh, professional, which is why I took it to him. So here it is all cut out. Now what he's going to do is kind of sand all the rough edges with a sander. He has all different types of sanders for tight spots. This one here has like a triangular surface to get in all the in the tighter spots. And this is just pretty much sandpaper wrapped around a screwdriver to get into the the grooves. Um, he's even he even stained it for me a little bit just to seal the wood. An initial seal. After this, I could have pretty much painted on it. Here it is. I just let it uh, dry in the sun because I'm about, I'm about to put a heavy, a more heavy duty stain on it. Fast dry varnish pretty much stains the the wood, all the microscopic holes that's in the wood. You can do the same with linseed oil. After you've painted one session, you you oil it down with linseed oil. After like a week or so, you get this nice finish. But this here just dries faster, so I decided I just wanted, you know, to be able to use it immediately instead of using linseed oil. I uh, get this nice gloss. I'm able to scrape access paint with a palette knife. Here's here's the finished product, nice and shiny. This is more like a value, a value like a little higher than a midtone. Here I uh, because when I held it. It had uh, really, sh really sharp edges, so I kind of tapered the where you hold it with your hands. I did that one myself, and then uh, I sand I not sanded, but I uh, varnished it again. And this is the finished product, along with my other palettes that I have. Nice, huge palette, which enables me to do lots of mixing. Have all my strings on one palette. I don't have to move back and forth between palettes. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.